The media is too concentrated. Too few people own too much. There's really five companies that control 90% of what we read, see and hear. It's not healthy. Ted Turner. He who controls the media controls the mind of the public. Noam Comsky. It is advertising and the logic of consumerism that governs the depiction of reality in the mass media. The one who is distracted will never question all the things that make no sense around them. Then, like a computer, each day you program yourself with the same reoccurring beliefs and fears that keep you asleep and divided from many. Again and again, consume, obey, trust, fear, disconnect, consume, obey, trust, fear, until... You finally allow yourself to question why none of this is making you happier. Why none of your new items make you less insecure. Why your medication only suppresses your symptoms. And why you still feel so empty in your knowledge. You feel like a drug addict, always chasing a high that doesn't come. And in the meantime, you feel sadder, drained, more ill and more lost. You think of the pure happiness you felt once as a child in your innocence. Happy with the simplicity of life happy with the nature that surrounded you. So it's time to go back. And just like that, you begin to grow again. Now you've stopped feeding your fake ego, your false self, you realise how starved your soul is. You ask yourself, who am I? Without all the materialism, all the indoctrination, without the fear and the constant pressures of expectation society demands from you, how do you define yourself? What is your meaning? Not anyone else's or what people say your meaning is, but what is it you live for? Life for everyone will be different. We all have many perspectives and different experiences that form our views. Your truth isn't someone else's, and yet that doesn't make it false. And so you ask yourself, finally questioning outside of the conditioning, is it really healthy that we all learn the same things in school, dictated by the same restraints on a checklist? Learn to idolise the same celebrities and historians, are outcasted for not following the social norm of opinions, and is it normal how disconnected we have become from nature considering we would not exist without it, and we will one day become a part of it again? Like the soft breeze you feel glide past your skin, you do not see, but you see it shake the branches on the tree. You finally look around you and understand. I am not separate from this, I am not separate from the soil I walk on, the waves that crash beside me and the stars I gaze upon at night. There's a whole world for you, now to explore, and a whole world library of books to develop your self-knowledge. You feel excited. You've never realised how low the frequency you were living on was. You've never felt so alive. And understand that even with such a revelation, you're eager to share and help the people you care for. But some are not so comfortable and ready to let go of what they have always known to be true. Cognitive dissidence is a concept we're all confronted with in life. You cannot force someone to hear a message they are not ready to receive, but do not underestimate the power of planting seeds for someone. You once also were a tiny vulnerable seed with no light or water, no self-power or connection to nature. Told you're simply just a seed, nothing else. And now look, you're blooming brighter than ever. <laughs>